So I've graduated uni and I've just signed myself up for more exams and I am increasingly wondering why I did this to myself, but hey! Hey, so welcome to the vlog. I have decided that I am going to vlog for the next few weeks just because I'm getting a bit lonely, you know? I want someone to talk to, so as sad as it is, I'm just gonna talk to my camera for the next few weeks. Also, exams are approaching. I've got less than a month until they start, so I really do need to be concentrating and knuckling down a bit more now. For those of you who don't know me, I am studying for a professional qualification. I'm trying to become a qualified actuary and I'm sitting my first set of actuarial exams, IFOA exams in April. Had a dream last night, the classic student dream, that my exams were tomorrow and I hadn't done any revision and I hadn't done enough prep for it and it was a big panic nightmare then I woke up and realised it was all a dream, it was fine, I still have just under a month to go, so... Whew. Also in my dream last night, I dreamt that my sister was travelling to Mars and then came back on a day trip so that we could go to a burrito shop, so that's always an interesting one. If anyone can tell me what these dreams mean, then please do let me know. It's really difficult to pass all of these exams first time and most people will fail at least one exam along the way. I was looking up the pass rates and they're 60% for the exams I'm taking, so 40% of people who sit these exams fail on average. Those odds aren't quite as good as I'd like them to be. 40%, that's approaching half of all people who sit these exams will fail but hopefully i've put in enough prep the other thing is i have received my mock result for my statistics mock that i filmed myself doing a week or so ago but i haven't been brave enough to open it yet so i actually don't know what i got and i'm thinking i might just sit my other mocks first because i've got the second part of my statistics mock which i haven't sat either i think the immediate plan is to practice some r some coding in r because the part of the CS1, the statistics mock that I haven't done yet, is the part in R and that's because I feel like I am not proficient enough in R yet to do it. I've come a long way from when I started learning R a few months ago but I just kind of put it to the side and was like yeah I'll come back to that later and now it's come round to the exams approaching and I'm like uh oh it never did come back to that. I am actually just going to quickly jot down some of the stuff I want to get done today. Pen and paper because I don't have my phone on me which is where I normally make my to-do lists. That is just because I've been really bad at procrastinating at the moment. While my phone is great and it does organise my life, if I spend so much time scrolling through social media and just getting distracted by it, it's just really not constructive to my work so I've given it to my dad for the whole of the day and I've said to him don't give it back to me until this evening. I just don't have the self-discipline at the moment to stop myself from going on my phone. Okay first thing I need to do is return a close order to the news agent to be sent off. I also need to draw up some invoices for brand work that I've done recently. Can you hear the birds? They get quite bad here during the summer. It's just, it's coming up to that time of year. I know another very important thing that I need to do today, and that is go for a walk. That might seem silly, like why do I need to do that today? But it's because I have not been out the house in probably a week. I know this has been a bit of a chatty start to the vlog, but I feel like I've needed to get you guys up to speed, you know, where my life is at. Okay, I've just been up at my mum's workstation and I've pulled together the invoices I spoke about earlier and I think I'm gonna go grab lunch now. We are out and about and off to drop off the parcel that I was talking about earlier that I need to return to the news agent and realised could kill two birds and one stone instead of driving to the news agent, walk to the news agent and get my daily walk in as well. As usual, I'm with the two people who I'm always with, my mum, hello, and my dad. Can't really share any neighbourhood gossip, can I? No. 
What I would much rather be doing is going to a clothes shop and trying on the clothes oh, no. and then buying the clothes. That would be much more but online shopping, even that has a little bit of a thrill to it and makes lockdown a teeny bit more exciting. Okay, everybody, I'm just putting my mask on because we like to be COVID safe around here, even if the mask is way too big. Did it, all good. Hand sanitising everybody, hand sanitising. I've done some work on R this afternoon and I am making progress but I'm just frustrated. I've hit a block. I'm just trying to set the working directory and it just keeps erroring. I don't know why it's upsetting me so I think I'm going to take a break in a moment, take a step away but I thought I'd just show you, you know, a few of my scripts. I'm making plots, I've got outputs that I can interpret run that oh look a qq plot which stands for quantile quantile plot oh this is looking at the poisson distribution this one i am simulating results from a gamma distribution and look at the different colors different line types i've just got so many skills i've apparently got 20 minutes until dinner so i think i might whip out my saxophone i've got a really fun book with lots of pop songs in it the goal is to become good enough at saxophone that i can join a concert band once lockdown is over and play saxophone i probably should practice some more technical stuff on saxophone i have never done any scales or arpeggios on saxophone <laughs> afternoon everybody it has been a busy day of work duplicate i am just making a backup of the project because if i make a change to it and it all goes wrong i don't want to be having to undo my mistake i want to be able to have a backup version which i can then just pick up where i left off i've had quite a varied day today i had a call this morning that i thought was going to take me half an hour it ended up being more like an hour and a half and all the time I was in this call I kept having messages pinging at me like urgent can you do this and Paige do you have time for this and Paige how much time do you have for this this week and I was like oh my god like everyone is messaging me at once and I'm in a call so obviously I have to pay my attention to the call I'm in and not get distracted with all my admin. Okay this duplication is nearly finished. What I'm working on at the moment is processing claims data for one of the clients that I do work for and this is their reinsurance claims data and also reinsurance premiums data so reinsurance is insurance for insurers insurers themselves will pay 
premiums to reinsurers and the reinsurer will take on some of the risk. I'm just looking at my to-do list and I've got a lot of stuff that I said I'd do today that I haven't done yet so I'm gonna stop talking to the camera, get cracking on this stuff, get studying this evening. I'm ready to do a mock exam tomorrow evening. Yes it's gonna happen because I'm saying it right now. Okay it is the evening and I'm feeling very very tired. Like honestly working is tiring. Staring at a screen all day more to the point is tiring. I have been reading this evening and do you know what I just wanted a nice light happy book that was gonna put a smile on my face because life at the moment is just a bit sad and it's easy to be down in the dumps and so I chose this book right it's called The Switch the joyful and uplifting Sunday Times bestseller is what it's sold as I've started reading it and I just want to cry like it's so sad the sister of the main character has passed away quite recently when the book is set. I was told this was going to be joyful and uplifting and it just makes me want to cry so I'm really hoping you know that it's going to look up and it's going to really warm my heart because I just want to read a heartwarming book you know. I think I'm going to go take my makeup off and get into my pyjamas and then look at some R because I haven't done enough study this evening. When I say I haven't done enough study this evening I haven't done any study this evening. Um, I just get tired after a working day. I just get into this mindset of, well, I've done my work for the day, I'm gonna have the evening off. This is the problem with studying for a professional qualification while you're working in the profession. I've also been responding to some messages from three of my uni friends this evening. And like, I really appreciate that people take the time to message me, honestly. I've been finding increasingly as lockdown has gone on, I've just wanted to retreat into my shell and I've just lost my confidence with social interaction a little bit I think and it's nice to have people messaging. I'm just heading to the dentist, a bit of an excuse to take a break this morning um, but I've left it too late. Classic me, the one time she has to leave the house and she doesn't leave in time. So I am speed walking to the dentist. Oh, I feel like old Paige being late for something and speed walking. The sun is shining, look at that blue sky. Success. I am heading back now. Back to work. <laughs> Hello. How is everybody? Pretty good. Alive. I'm in my pyjamas but I'm about to do a mock exam because I didn't realise the deadline for submitting my mock for marking is in two days time and I know I said I was going to do the mock this evening but was I really going to go through with doing the mock this evening? I don't know. I had it in the back of my mind that I might put it off for another day again but no. I need to get it done because there's literally a deadline. It's also just going to be good for me to actually practice under timed conditions and see if I know enough R. Hopefully I know enough R. I had another quite nice day at work today, caught up with a colleague and then technically after my working day had ended but I was still doing some work at this point because I needed to get some stuff done, I spoke to some of my university friends. Lots of them are applying for jobs and getting offered jobs quite excitingly at the moment. It's like we're all growing up. I can't believe it. Like, it's proper adult stuff. We should still be little freshers at university. Why have we all graduated or are graduating soon and having to do actual adult work and thinking about moving out and starting careers? Like, this is big stuff, you know? But it always makes the catch-ups interesting because I'm really nosy and obviously I want to know what everyone else is doing and what work they're planning on doing and where they're planning on living next year. I've been checking with people at work recently if I can have a couple of weeks off as annual leave in July and so far the response has been yeah go for it, book it off. Hopefully that continues. I have six weeks worth of holiday to take this year. I haven't taken any yet. I have none booked in at the moment. I need to get on it. But yeah, now I'm procrastinating. I actually do need to get started on this mock because it is an hour and 45 minutes and it's already 
past 8.30. I want to be done before 11 because I need sleep because I've got another working day tomorrow starting at 9 o'clock. Oh my god, my laptop screen is so bright. How do I turn down that brightness? Oh, I can put night light on. Now, given I'm going to be staring at a screen until 11 o'clock because I'm doing my mock, I think it'd be a good idea to take away that blue light that's going to keep me up. CS1 mock exam paper B. I've got an hour 45. I'm going to figure this out. Wish me luck and speak to you tomorrow. I said I was going to speak to you tomorrow but I just finished my mock and I wanted to debrief and share my experience because that was borderline traumatic. I was expecting the questions to be easier than they were. Typically all the questions on the mock were on right at the end of the course, the parts that I hadn't gone through in detail. Let's just add up the total marks. I answered 70% of the marks which isn't half bad when I spent a lot of the mock just going through my notes and <laughs> looking at practice examples and stuff and then trying to learn it and then apply it to the questions in the mock. I'm surprised I didn't find it more costly in time having to look through my notes like it's strange that they're open book now and suddenly I can look at examples while in the exam. Anyway I'm gonna send off the mock for marking now and then I'm gonna get to bed because it's almost 11 o'clock. Mm, good morning everybody. I have just woken up. Why am I so bad at getting up in the mornings? It's 8 24. I've got a call at 9 this morning so I've got 36 minutes to get ready. I need to shower. I'm gonna have breakfast while I start working but like ah, I hate getting up and this is not even early like it's 8 24. If I was in an office, I'd have to be getting up at seven something, six something if I've got a commute. This is lovely, this is reasonable, but I'm just so bad with the mornings. I'm gonna run and go shower, get dressed, make myself look presentable, and call my line manager at nine. <laughs>